you are a citizen of the world. Heaven Letter Number 4869 March 25, 2014 The way for you to make the world the way you want it to be is for you to be as you want the world to be. How do you want the world to be? You know what you don't want. You don't want to be boss around. You do not want to be overridden with rules and regulations and instructions intended to improve you. You want to be treated like a human being with all the rights and privileges. Governments and agencies and such who seem to make all the rules and regulations that you object to are also human beings. And, you, as a human being, you really don't want authority over you. As a citizen you want to count. You want to be more than a number. You want to have a say. You want to be heard. The management of the world is made up of human beings, and human beings have taken sides and fallen into two camps or more, and have become you and they. There is an expression in the world that says, when you want to get somewhere, you go to the top. I am the top, beloveds. Consult with me. Let me be at the bargaining table of your heart and mind. There is world consciousness. How you are ultimately going to raise the world is to raise your consciousness. Raise it by intention, and raise it by listening. You would not like to be talked about the way governments and employers and managers everywhere are often talked about. They have become the others, a them. You have become the ones who oppose. That's the separation that exists in the world. There is loss in the reality that you and everyone are all equally your brother's keeper. You see misdemeanors and lack of foresight and lack of caring and lack of good sense, and you feel you lack of a voice. Going to the polls doesn't seem to do the trick. You want to be heard. You want to be noted. You want respect. It is also for you to give it. How effective is taking the role of opponent and crossing swords? How well does protest work? Of course, fighting and protest provide an opportunity to vent, yet what will turn all concerned back into human beings who do more than sounding off? Slander doesn't work. Accusations don't work. Uprisings don't seem to work, for what is gained, and what is lost. What does work, is a rise in your consciousness. How you speak and what you say influences the world. I say that your thoughts and speech and deeds reflect your consciousness. Consciousness rises. You may not think you rule, yet your consciousness does reach to those who seem to have say over you. There will come a time when your consciousness and that of many rises to the point where those seemingly in charge can only follow your consciousness. The consciousness of the old management grows, or a new management with higher consciousness comes in. You may think I am unaware of how the world is to you and how it affects you. I am aware. I am also aware that your consciousness speaks. Changing outer circumstances does not of itself change all that you would desire it to. Desire your individual consciousness to grow. Come truly and simply closer to me where peace resides. All things are possible, beloveds. Now, allay your heart. Consciousness in the world is rising. Your consciousness is rising, sometimes in spite of yourself. You see according to your consciousness. How you see changes the world. Take heart, beloveds. Take heart. You are a citizen of the world. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org